the, um, uh, this question of, you know, a good example I've been working on a bunch is quantum mechanics, mm. where um, actually the aforementioned physicist um, Dick Feynman always used to say, nobody understands quantum mechanics. And he'd worked on quantum mechanics his whole life. Okay? And he would say, nobody understands quantum mechanics. And I think he was right at the time. And uh, you know, I'd been excited that it, at this moment, we seem to be getting to the point where I'm almost to the point where I say, I think I really actually understand quantum mechanics. Really? And it's, it's a you know, sort of a sound bite of how things work is you might think you know, in, in classical physics, sort of definite things happen in the world. Throw a ball, goes on a definite trajectory. In mm. quantum mechanics, sort of the big idea is there are many different trajectories that you can follow, and you're only looking at probabilities of different things happening. But the question is, uh, sort of how does that really work underneath? And what we've kind of realized is that the, the sort of the history of the universe branches and merges all the time. So instead of there being a single sort of thread of time in the universe, there's this giant branching, merging graph of threads of time. So then the question is, well, why is it that we think that definite things happen? Because if there are all these branching, merging pieces, why do we think definite things happen? Well, then we realize, well, we're part of this whole branching, merging universe. So our brains, our minds are also doing this branching, merging thing. Mm -hmm. So quantum mechanics ends up being the story of how does a branching brain perceive a branching universe, right. which is at some level, you kind of realize even from that description that it's going to be a little bit difficult to see what happens. But once you realize that that is what is happening, you kind of have at least a fighting chance of being able to see how it all works. And, and we're getting closer. And it, it's, um, it's very, uh, uh, you know, it, it requires some different ideas than people have seen before. But it's something where, in the end, it's not mysterious. And in the end, all those places where, you know, you had to make this jump, you had to sort of suspend disbelief, so to speak, and, you know, to understand the textbook, I don't think you'll have to do that in future. I think it's going to be something where you can just say, well, it's this way, this way, this way. It requires paradigmatic ideas that people like ideas about, about how computation works and this notion of computational irreducibility, about how you sort of can't know the outcome of a computational process more efficiently than by following the steps and so on. It requires really having some intuitive understanding of those things. Um, and that's something that, you know, slowly comes. But, uh, uh, you know, given that, I think there will be sort of a direct it won't be a mystery thing where you just have to say, the formulas work this way, mm -hmm. uh, trust me, it, it, you know, it's going to work out type thing. So, you know, but I think that um, um, in terms of, you know, the, uh, you know, what students do and don't understand from textbooks, you know, the project I happen to be doing these few weeks could be classified as a thing a student didn't understand in a textbook 50 years ago, because I, I, you know, I got this particular book about statistical physics 50 years ago, and um, I thought it was pretty interesting, but I really didn't understand how it came to the conclusions it came to. Mm -hmm. And so my plan a you know, long time ago was I would make a computer simulation. The book actually had computer simulations in it to understand how it worked. I didn't manage to do it because in the end, you know, I didn't know a bunch of things that are from a paradigm from the future, so to speak. Um, and that, uh, uh, that was, um, uh, you know, so, but, but that was in a sense, uh, you know, for 50 years I've been sort of picking away off and on at this thing that was a thing I didn't understand in the textbook 50 years ago. And um, it, uh, you know, I would say that, that for the things you don't understand in the textbook now, you know, you can go ask a professor see whether they have anything sensible to say. They may not have anything sensible to say. Um, you know, another thing to realize about fields